Hello and welcome to this chapter Simple Interest and Compound Interest. In this video, I'll discuss the concept of interest, the difference between simple interest and compound interest. We'll also learn the power of compounding through interesting story and we'll also solve a few questions. So let's get started. Now let's imagine I am in need of money and I come to you and I say, can I borrow 10,000 rupees from you? You say, okay, fair enough. Uh, but when will you return to me? So I'll say I'll return to you after 20 years. So you say all right and I say that I'll return to you 10,000 rupees. You'll say wait, wait, wait. This is not happening. So you say I can lend you 10,000 rupees. You can return it to me after 20 years but of course you're not going to pay me 10,000 rupees. You're going to pay me 10,000 rupees plus some additional amount. Now what is that additional amount and why do you require that? Of course we know inflation that means something let's say today i can buy a piece of furniture at 10000 rupees but after 20 years that same furniture is going to cost me a few lakhs that means the value the value of money reduces over time would you agree with me so value of money reduces over time so you need to make sure that when you get your 10000 rupees back you're also getting an additional amount which sort of takes care of inflation so this additional amount, that means the additional money that you want to get after you've lent this money is your interest. So in simple terms, if I have to say what is interest, I would say it is analogous to saying it's sort of rent on your money. Would you agree? Rent on the money that you're lending. So basically when I say, okay, a uh, principal, is the initial amount let's say that was borrowed right let's say we represent it by p which in this case was 10000 rupees then you want to charge a certain uh, interest right that means you want to charge a certain rate of interest so let's say you say what i would want is that rate of interest would be represented by r so let's say you say okay you can take 10000 rupees but i would charge you a rate of 10 percent per annum and you're saying this is a simple interest simple interest meaning meaning every year the rate would be the same. So for example, if let's say after year one, if I am able to return the 10,000 rupees to you, for year one, you would charge a 10,000 rupee interest. For year two, you would charge an additional 10,000, 10% of interest, right? On the principal, on year three, also you will charge me 10% of the principal. This is important, right? So that means if principal is P, rate is R and T is nothing but the time period so you would say the formula to calculate simple interest and I'm sure all of us are aware is P into R by 100 which is your rate into T right so this is sort of like this right PRT upon 100 what this means this means that the 10,000 rupees that you borrowed that I borrowed from you you will say but 10% additional I will charge after year one. That means not only will you have to return the 10,000 rupees, but also 10% of this 10,000, which is let's say 1,000 rupees in this case, here also 1,000 rupees in this case, here also 1,000 rupees in this case, because it will be charged on principal and which is of course constant. So that means if I return to you, let's say after three years, you will say, don't give me just 10,000 rupees. I want 10,000 plus 1,000 rupees per year into three, meaning into 3,000, meaning this is your 13,000. So this is the simple uh, 13,000 rupees. This is the simple concept of simple interest. So now let's take an example to understand this further. So there's a question which says if a amount doubles itself in five years. So now we have to understand that amount is what? Your amount is nothing but principal plus the interest that you've earned. So in my previous example, if you see 10,000 was the principal and the after three years interest is 3,000 that you earned on 10,000. So amount would be 13,000. So he's saying if an amount doubles itself in five years, meaning now if you see amount will become double, meaning you are doing what? You are saying principal plus principal. That's when it will become twice of principal, meaning this interest is nothing but equal to principal. This is what it means, right? He's saying if interest equals to principal, right? The interest you're earning is equal to principal. 
in 5 years. So now let's put this into the simple formula. Now we know SI equals to PRT upon 100. So you said simple interest earned would be equal to principal. That means principal equals to principal into R. Rate is something that we have to calculate. Time period is already given 5 years because in 5 years it's doubling itself, right? That means PP cancel. That means 5R equals to 100 or R equals to 20. This is something that you can do orally. That means the rate is 20%. Now he's saying this is given. Now it says it will become thrice itself in how many years that means it's saying the amount will become thrice itself in how many years so if the amount has to become thrice meaning the interest you're earning would be how much this is p he's saying it becomes thrice meaning this will become 2p right that means amount will become 3p in that case right thrice that means your interest in this case would become 2p right so now the new interest when will it become let's say thrice itself meaning simple interest equals to prt upon 100 now you put the same thing again p into 20 this is already given right uh, prt right so you have to calculate t now pp gets cancelled and you calculate t equals to 2 into 10 and this equals to 100 by 10 that means 10 years now this is very very simple right so this is one way you can do it i you must have realized in my previous videos also I do not like formula right so what we could have done is we could have done this in five seconds without you need any formula that means it's saying uh, amount itself becomes uh, an amount doubles itself in five years meaning the interest it's earning in five years is equal to how much it's principal now let's say principal initially was principal so 100 percent it's earning in how many years it's earning in five years meaning what meaning per year how much interest would be accumulated because this is simple interest so it will be same every year that means it will be 20 percent so if 20 percent it is accumulating every year if it has to become thrice itself amount has to become thrice so amount equals to p plus interest that means this interest would be nothing but 2p that means how long will it take to become 2 into p p was initially 100 so 200 how much time it will take so you could have orally also done this that it will take 10 years so this was a very simple question and most questions you will see like this only on simple interest i have rarely seen a difficult question on simple interest and compound interest so now we understood what simple interest is let's understand how different or how you know how it varies the compound interest and what's really the difference so i want to uh, help you understand this with the help of a story so you know the story goes like this long time ago there was a king and the king was one day playing chess so when the king was playing chess there was also a prisoner right and the prisoner comes to the king and uh, he asks for a request that means he says I have a final wish before I die and the king asks okay what is your wish and the king was known to be very generous right so king was known to be very generous and uh, also was somebody who would keep his word so king said okay what do you want he says a very simple thing he said you know i want to make sure that i have enough i provide enough food for my family before i die so all i want is that i want some number of grains of rice on the last square of this chessboard so he says okay you what what do you want so he said i want a certain grains of rice a certain number of grains of rice king says okay and how much would that be he says very simple if let's say you start with one grain of rice here on the first square and every subsequent it's doubling so here would be two grains of rice here would be four grains of rice and so on that means here if there was one grain of rice here would be two here would be four here would be eight here would be 16 here would be 32 here would be 64 here would be 128 and so on that means he says and if you keep multiplying that i want the number of grains of rice on this block right so king says okay this doesn't seem that big an ask so fair enough your wish is granted and he orders his ministers to calculate the number of grains of rice on the last uh, square of the chessboard the 64th one and uh, when his minister shares with him how much grain of rice that would be the king was taken in by a surprise he was taken aback and he realized that the grain of rice is so huge 
that it can cover the entire mass of our country that means if you do the math right and uh, and if let's say your grain of rice and you can use it do the math using your calculator uh, you know or your excel sheet so if you assume 25 rupees per kg as rice the price of rice and the number of, the amount of rice grains here if you multiply that into 25 this would be more than 100 trillion dollars can you imagine uh, india's gdp is just short of 3 trillion dollars so you can imagine how big an amount that is right so so and the king had to finally you know was indebted to that prisoner all his life so anyway so the story is to explain to you the power of compounding and you know albert einstein uh, no wonder he called compound interest as the eighth wonder of the world so compounding what happens is that you are not getting a fixed amount but what you are doing is you are every year it's increasing and it increases on the previous amount so similar to this now let's th see theoretically what it means so simple interest we discussed the simple interest you always get a fixed amount and it is always on principle so always on principle and principle is fixed so every year it will be the same and the formula for simple interest is something we discussed already prt upon 100 whereas in your compound interest what we do is the compound interest is calculated in such a way that the amount that you earn is reinvested that means the interest the 10% interest or whatever percentage of interest is applied on amount uh, let's say if i have to calculate ci this will be equal to p 1 plus r upon 100 to the power n n is again the number of periods you know uh, fixed amount of periods that we are taking when it's compounding minus p that means because your amount is changing right this is your amount this is the amount that is coming and minus p that is what your uh, you know total compound interest is so this is seems the distinction seems very trivial but i think this is a big big difference so let's take a example right i have taken put this table here for you so let's say the principal is 1000 rupees and we have a fixed rate of interest which is 10% and let's say i give it to you money uh, at simple interest or compound interest and i just wanted to show you how much simple interest i'll be calculating uh, you know will accrue after every year now in simple interest it would be same because 10% on principal it would always be same but if you see the difference here that means in first year your principal would be 1000 only right and amount is also 1000 but what happens in the compound interest next year the 10% would not be applied on 1000 rupees it will be applied on this uh, this 1000 rupees plus uh, this 100 rupee this is your interest that you earned that means here the amount would be 1100 that means now 10% of 1100 which would be 110 and next year you do the math you will see this is 1 to 1 0 and the 10% would be applied on this that means it would be 1 to 1 and so on so at the end of the 10 year you can see the difference this is huge humongous difference right 100 and this is 235.8 so that's the power of compound interest now let's take a simple example to understand uh, uh, compound interest so sometimes okay let's see, look at this question it says find the compound interest on a sum of 5000 rupees in 1.5 years when compounded semi annually now this is important semi annually meaning every 6 months it's getting compounded so what this means is when it says in 1.5 years meaning how many cycles meaning it would be 3 cycles so n would be 3 now compound interest we know the formula we can calculate simply right p p is 5000 1 plus what is your rate of interest it is 20 upon 100 to the power n n is how much 3 right this is ci equals 2 this is the amount minus the amount the principal sorry and you can calculate this and you will get your answer i don't like formulas like i said so what i would i could have done is you also realize that compound interest is very similar to your successive percentage change right or let's imagine this is 5000 is what we started with now he says 20% you are earning on the same that means 20% of 5000 is 1000 this is overall that means next year 
after first year the sum would be after the first cycle sorry after the first six months this money would be six thousand now how much would you earn now 20 percent of six thousand meaning 1200 so next cycle the amount would be 7200 right this is your second cycle and then the next cycle would be again 20 percent of this meaning 1440 right so this would be how much 8640 right that means after the first cycle it becomes 6000 here becomes 7200 here 8640 so the question is compound interest now compound interest is how much amount minus principal principal is 5000 this is 8640 so obviously answer would be 3640 very very simple so like i said i you can do it solve this and you can get your answer but i don't like formula so what you could have done is you could have done it like this so i hope you understood the concept of simple interest and compound interest in this video and we will have one more video on the same topic where we will solve some problems but uh, thank you for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.